I promised you earlier that you'd have a chance to get to know our semifinalists better, and that's what we're going to do. For those delegates who have requested them, we have interpreters from Professional Translating Services Incorporated standing by. We'll start our interview competition with Miss India. First, let's get to know Miss India from Bangalore. She's a 19-year-old university student who hopes to get a law degree and work in the field of human resources. Meet Nafisa Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> what, may I ask you, attracted you to the field of human resources? Well, um, good evening. Good evening, everybody out here. My interest in human resources basically developed from my interest in the situation in my country, and um, from which I want to do law, carrying on to doing HR, which is human resources development. It is my basic concern for humanity and for the poor and downtrodden. How nice of you to say that. How beautiful you are. May I ask one other question? What do you think is the biggest injustice in the world today? Well, I would say the biggest injustice in the world today is to bring a child into the world and not even be able to offer him or her peace. Thank you, and would you step right this way to this little mark over there, and our judges, if you would, please judge the lady. Miss Nafisa Joseph, Miss India. All right, now, would you meet Miss Venezuela? She's a 23-year-old <laughs> flamenco dancer who's also in her fourth year of dental school. Welcome, Miss Venezuela and soon to be Dr. Marina Bencomo. Now you have requested an interpreter. All right, now we've asked the first question. Uh, you founded a, a volunteer organization in Venezuela, right? What does the organization do? Has fundado una organización voluntaria en Venezuela. ¿Qué es lo que hace? Nosotros vamos a las áreas rurales a ayudar a los niños pobres que no tienen idea de cómo cuidar su higiene bucal y los enseñamos y los ayudamos a que aprendan a que la salud es lo principal. We go to rural areas and we teach a children how to care for, how to uh, learn about dental hygiene. We bring this to them because uh, that is something that is uh, very important for them. I've got to say, this is the first time in this history of the pageant that we've ever had a flamenco dancing dentist. May I ask you one more thing? Could you do it just for me? Would you demonstrate a little flamenco dancing? Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Gracias. Welcome, Miss Puerto Rico. She graduated with honors from the University of Puerto Rico and now comes tonight as a public relations expert. Please say hello to Ana Rosa Brito. Hola. Hola, buenas noches, Latinoamérica. Buenas noches. Okay, now, you do a lot for charity. Most of the title holders do. What have you done? And tell us about a little bit about your charity work, if you would. Okay, back home in Puerto Rico, whenever I won the crown as Miss Universe Puerto Rico, I'm like a godmother for an institution, the hospital, San Jorge Hospital, Children's Hospital, which is for the cancer, case and cancer patients. And over there, um, voy aquí al, al hospital, les regalo un rato, y estoy enseñándole a los niños, comparto con ellos. I go to the hospital, I share some time with the children, and I have a good time with them. I just give them a part of my heart so they can be happy what a nice thing to do huh a part of your heart so you can be happy one quick question what do you do for fun oh i love modeling but i love going swimming going swimming perfect place to be mommy thank you ladies and gentlemen it's puerto rico Ana Rosa Rico. Let's get to know Miss Trinidad and Tobago. She's a university student whose hobbies include kayaking and horseback riding. Please welcome 
Margot Bourgeois. Now, please step right here if you would. Now, Margot, tell me, if I were to visit your country, what would you show me? Oh, it depends on where you want to go. We have everything in Trinidad and Tobago. But I would take you to the Point de Pierre Wildfowl Trust because I think the environment is so important right now and we really need to be more sensitive about it. We need to protect it and preserve it. This is a place where we protect endangered species of waterfowl and we have a lot of natural flora and fauna. It's beautiful. I'm sure it is. Now tell me one other thing. Tell me, what would you tell them about your visit to Miami? This is just like home. Thank you for making me feel so comfortable. Me tierra, Miami. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Trinidad and Tobago. Please step over here. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Trinidad and Tobago, Margot Bourgeois. And now, let's meet Miss USA. She's a 26-year-old graduate student at the University of Hawaii, majoring in communication. Please say hello to Brooke. May he uh, may Mahayalani Lee. Is that right? That was excellent. I almost got it. Okay. You're a mixture of all sorts of things, just like our, our pageant here tonight. Tell me some of the mixture. I'm Hawaiian, Korean, Chinese, Dutch, English, French, Portuguese. Boy, you can have your choice on that, huh? Any of them, yes. Now, I've been told that you like to sing and that you had a special little thing that you wanted to do. You wanted to audition to sing for the Dodgers. Am I correct? Yes. And what would you sing? The Star Spangled Banner. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you say? Shall we ask her to sing it? Let's do it! <laughs> okay, just the end. Okay. Oh, say does that Star Spangled Banner yet wait for the land Thank you, ladies.